Hi, my name is Casey Hurt, and this is my friend Kim, and we're here with Fusion Podcasts. So today we're going to be talking a little bit about beginner basics. So a lot of times we have clients that have never done any type of movement education, or we maybe need to undo a little bit of movement miseducation. So the neck flexors, which are the musculature at the front of the neck, is really a wonderful place to start even before you bring them into ab curls or anything more difficult than that. Uh, this is vital to teach your clients because you know our eyes are on the front of their head and our society now is dominated by sitting at a desk and also computers and reading. So this forward head shear is uh, rampant, I'd say, with all of our clients. Wouldn't you agree on that? <laughs> so also driving, you know, people are looking over the steering wheel. So this is gonna really teach them to use the front of their neck, okay? So this is called, it's kind of a fun name, the Dracula head float. So Kim, what I want you to do is I want you to, before we even mess with the head and the neck, I want you to take your hands and place your hands onto your sternum and let your arms rest. So this is a really nice thing to do also if you have people on a mat and they kind of come in and their body's a little bit rigid. I want you to take an inhale here and on the exhale, I want you to feel like you're dragging your sternum oh, nice down to the mat. This was a really good centering exercise. So I want you to soften the shoulders. Ooh, even better. So keep that little bit of pressure there, okay? Because when we do this exercise, we really want the spine, uh, especially in the thoracic spine, to stay in contact with the mat. Now, I'm gonna ask you, Kim, to lift your head off the mat, okay? But I want you to bring your head straight up, like you're, almost like your nose is lifting up, like your Dracula coming out of a coffin, good and then resting back down. So that is what most people are gonna do right off the bat the first time they do it. So I'm gonna cure just a tiny bit differently. So you're gonna go less um, high, right? And I don't want you to feel like your chin is leading. I want you to feel like your nose is leading. So I'm pretending I'm picking up your nose just to here. Now tilt the nose back towards your forehead, a touch. Now find, again, the softness on an exhale. There you go, and then resting down. Did you feel that little bit of a difference there? And so this is really fine tuning how the head and neck move. And I mean, this is a very small portion of an ab curl. This is the start. So if your clients don't quite know how to do this yet, they'll never get their ab curl right. So let's try that again. Uh-huh. And exhale, then yes, like that. Now just here, you're just floating it. Now take another inhale. Exhale, see if you can soften with the float, beautiful, and then rest the head down, okay? So it's a lot of work here. So now we're gonna add in a little bit of an ear wheel. So go ahead, lifting the head up just to here. Now, from here, keep your head floating. Try to get your chin roll back towards your ears like I'm pulling the back of your head, but don't lift it up anymore. I want you, yes, there, I want you to feel like you're slipping, yes, your chin behind your ears, and then rest down. Will you feel those guys? Yeah, and this is really, really tough, so let's try it again. Inhale, exhale, soften and lift, just to here. Now try to get your chin back towards your, yes, and it's like you're pulling your sternum and the back of your head apart, and then rest, Ooh, that was beautiful, good job. So like you said, you can see how that is really the start of an ab curl. And for you know, our frontal oriented clients, which is you know, obviously our eyes are at the front of our head, um, our people that are on computers, driving a lot, um, a lot of sitting, this is vital. Thank you so much for joining us today. Have a wonderful day.